Welcome back to Fun Media and today we are going to talk about something really important. Keyframe. What is Keyframe? What it can do for you, a new editor, or of course if you want, if you want to be an advanced editor, Keyframe are a key. I mean, it's really important. You can modify tons of things. It's really something you need to know. So this is why I'm going to do a small tutorial today only on keyframe. All right, let's go see that. Okay, here we go. We are ready to work with some keyframe today and we'll see exactly what it what is a keyframe. So we're going to work on a little video. We'll do a little video and I got two image. I don't need much more than that because it's enough to show you what is the keyframe and how it works. We're going to work. This is the Fifth Avenue in uh, Playa del Carmen uh, near Cancun, a place that I really like. You should try it. All right. So we're going to make a little video on that with photos in the title because keyframe could, you can change photo image, you can change video, you can change some effects, you can change um, transition you can change the title you can change pretty much everything so if you want to start getting more advanced doing being an advanced editor and do advanced editing keyframes are really really something you have to know it's really useful as soon as you have a good software probably you'll have keyframe so let's see how it works first and what it is exactly with a little title i'll do a little tree title so i'm not, not going to do a tutorial on how to do advanced title but i'm going to choose one here just to show you exactly how works the keyframe with the title so i'm just getting a little title here Guess how I'm gonna call it? Just because we're working on that, I'll call it key frame. I got my key frame title here. So of course now, with some software, you could make you could give it like a transition here or a transition out or a pre-advanced uh, template or something. But now since we're working on keyframe will only change it with the keyframe so for that I'm working on title now I'm gonna switch for editor and now you got the properties of the selected clip which you can see right now is my title okay so I got this little scale mode selected I'm gonna work on that so keyframe you can see all those little points here those are your keyframe which means you can modify tons of things like i said you can modify properties effect title transition pretty much everything and the magic will happen in here in this empty box of course it's empty because now i have put no keyframe yet so this is what the keyframe is so let's say i want my title to come in from out to in without working on transition because with that you could put a keyframe here and after here after here and more and more and more and do exactly what you want to do so I'll just get the title out there you go now we don't see it and this button here will put a keyframe on everything here you go there's a button here here keyframes are everywhere so now I know my title will stay there and just to make it quick I'll do a little change all the way to the end because you put one in the middle and everything you can make your title dance and after that you can have another, another layer and go with a box that's going to dance here and go here and here and here like you can see in some really cool title or publicity or everything it's all done with keyframe so I'll go at the end here and now I'm going to change my little box to where I would like my title to be and there you go see I just put it here and by itself it has put a keyframe everywhere so now you know what your keyframe here which this line is at the beginning of the video here this is outside the the, te the television let's say and this one is exactly in the middle because that's where you put it let's see it Let's 
there you go it's easy as that so just imagine all the possibilities what you can do with getting more layers and everything with getting a, a change here and here and here more and more stuff you can do pretty much tons of things let's just see the swivel let's say i still working at the end of the keyframe because the line is on the last keyframe i'll make it dance a little bit all right how about i give it a 360 or about 360 there you go just gonna wait for the render okay let's see it see it's turning now whoopee see how quick that was took me just one or two minutes and boom you have a little title coming out turning around you know you, you could you could modify it so I'm gonna stop in here for the title but it's really give you giving you the basic of how what is a keyframe so now let's go back to my keyframe bin and have a little walk on the fifth avenue so i'm just going to take a little part of it i don't want it all so here there we go i'll cut here i'll take that part off and then i'll use probably just 20 seconds or something cut it here take that part off there you go all right so now let's say we are walking on the fifth avenue you know we're working on keyframe actually this would probably be better saying okay welcome to fifth avenue palais del calman but anyway and now let's see here we want to have a little you know there's a restaurant or something you like here or maybe you want to have a little photo up here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna double click on this photo and here's the properties again of the photo so what i'd like to do is i'd like the photo let's say to be smaller i'll put it smaller all right there you go so now you don't see that it has put any keyframe because we have just changed something that won't change anymore Okay, but let's say once again you want it to move to appear here with a small transition. I know we're not working on transition, but it looked probably cooler. Now I know I want it here at the beginning, then I'll put all my keyframes again. And I know that I want this thing probably like here, just to have a little movement. So now, once again, we're just like the title, we are working on a movement. So this thing's gonna happen, but it's gonna gonna take the entire screen. And then it's just a little movement. I should put it here. I'll just get the music down because I don't wanna work with some music today. I'll just mute all of those. Let's see how it is. See? You have a little photo that appear could be a photo could be something cool so i'll just put it here for now now that you've seen this and i'm gonna go get something else which is the google map a photo of the map of exactly where is the fifth avenue which is right here you can see the little points but it's a little hard to see how about this time we'll double click on that one we'll start it here so i just want to make sure it starts here so i'll just put a keyframe because i like the preset that it has and then i'll go to the end but this time instead of uh getting it a movement what i'm gonna do is give it a little zoom on this little place right here So I'm just went on pan and zoom. So now all this thing, it see, it gave me a little more window right here. So I'm gonna add it a little movement, a little zoom. Show people, hey guys, 
this is exactly where is the fifth avenue this is what you're gonna see so then the pan and zoom is there but see I didn't put the keyframe so it's not doing anything yet so how about we would like it like that and we'll put all the keyframe here because you like it like that at the end let's go back to the first one see there's one here I'd like to have it I don't know maybe like that like that so now you see the total movement the green one is the beginning the red one is the end you know the green one is here and those keyframe are the last one so let's see if it works and there you go you got a movement so then you have your title and after that you have a little movement see we're going here guys and then you have a bit of walk and then you have this photo that's going to appear you know a bit of movement it gives you credibility in a video if you only have like you're filming just one thing there's nothing really cool and people are gonna get bored watching your video so let's just try one more thing I'm gonna cut the video here and work only on this thing here let's say I want to put little FX on it I don't know uh, let's say artistic FX maybe I won't search for everything for a long time but let's say I want to that one in my video Here's my effect. So now what you see here is you have the effect, you have your keyframe box here, and you could it's telling you everything you could change. So of course now we don't see much. So I don't let's say you don't really really like it. You'd like this little part here. You, you want this first part to stay like that because you like it normal. I'll put a keyframe here. But after that, you want to change. So I'm going to go, let's say, about here, or maybe at the end of it, and then I'm going to work on it, okay? So I'll put a little more of this, a little more of this, a little more of this. So you're going to see a change real quick because render is going to do its job. I'll just put a bit of everything. Oop, maybe that's too much. See? disappearing a bit maybe that's a little too much just get a bit of it There you go. Okay, let's say you're satisfied with that. It's giving you a little kind of web or something. So, of course, this is just to show you guys what you can do with the keyframe. But let's see. Here and here, between those, I've decided to keep it like this. And from here to here, I've decided to make a change. So, let's go see what is the difference. See? It's appearing it's doing exactly what I've asked the keyframe to do starting from here asking to begin in here and give it a quick and slow movement all the way down to here so this keyframe they were put on an effect so of course all the thing here of course 360 view you could have your keyframe on the color you can put color change working like let's say i want to color change from this here to here or like you can 
cut your video right here and have your color change from here to here everything has a keyframe see there's a keyframe here and here and here I'm working on basic color changing on your correction I mean everything will have a keyframe of course major thing is the properties changing the properties of the video all right that's it for keyframe I mean major thing I can tell you is try it play with it try stuff get to practice you will find yourself doing it's not, it's not it was not that that hard i mean it's not the easiest thing but it's not that hard and so once you play with it try stuff again with your titles with your effect with your zoom with your colors with everything try it try it try it play with it and the more you're gonna get used to it the more fun you're gonna have and the more you're gonna like it the more you're gonna try find it useful the bigger advanced editor you will be and that's it i mean please just put a comment if you've tried it and like the video it's always a good help for me and i will talk to you next time see you with fun media